this is Jim and Ben with DC Digital. And today we're demonstrating our newest version of our DC-25 TZ-4-CC and this is a changeable caption time zone time of day clock and this is a four zone and we have several ways of operating it and changing the captions and manipulating the time zone so that you can set it up. As you can see there are push buttons on top for manual mode and then we also have a network cable on to the right and you can see changing it through a computer or via your network or through the internet. So I'm going to have Ben go ahead and demonstrate the operation of how to get this uh, going and set it up. Okay, I'd like to first introduce the product, if I may, in my own way. This is a product that is near and dear to my heart. I spent quite a bit of time developing, and I wanted it to be the next generation of this type of product. Operating system dependencies with Windows utilities, and because of our source for the captions, forced into creating a new product. Uh, but rather than simply patch the hole, we wanted to create a product that is the future. So I hope we've done that to at least some degree. So this is our new and improved changeable copy captions um, time zone clock. So what we have here is a new set of a, a Windows utility. We have a web page. And this web page is hosted inside of the device, the, inside the time zone clock. And you connect to it here with the ethernet. And you only need to connect or set it up. Once, once you've set up the captions, you don't need that. We'll get into that in a little bit. But with the web page, you get some additional features. Uh, so uh, first off, you can see what UTC is set to anywhere in, you know, from the web browser. You can see your product information up here. Some information out in your network settings. Okay. You can change your network settings here. and You can go to a static or dynamic IP address. And change a username and password which is used to enter this page it's not asking us for this username and password because we've already accessed this page once before so it's saving our information so to get into this page we would have to enter the username and password which by default is lowercase username spell out username and lowercase spell out password and that will get you into the configuration set. Correct. You'll also use those to get into the network settings as well. In other words, to change the password, you need to enter the password. But once you've done it, it caches it so you don't need to do that. In your configuration, you can either configure this time zone clock to be synchronized to network time protocol server. You can enter that information here. Here's the server address. Here's how frequently you update server. You can also change the hour format from 12 to 24 hour mode. And so you'll see we're in 24 hour mode right now with the 1716 UTC. This configuration settings up here are different from our time zone settings, which are down here. So we have zone one, two, three, and four for a four zone clock, and each zone has a zone name. For simplicity, we'll just go down the uh, contiguous US time zone. So we'll go uh, NYC, and that is currently offset four hours, negative four, sorry, negative four in the US. Uh, in, the, in the summertime. Uh, time zone two, we will go with uh, oh, uh, Chicago. Chicago, thank you. And everything needs to be in all caps. And that's one hour behind us, so that's negative five in the summer. We go with uh, St. Louis. And you'll notice it'll, it will take the uh, period, it will also take a dash. What's the last one? Uh, we'll say San Francisco. Okay. And so quickly you can set the hours of offset minutes and seconds as well from UTC. A negative number is east of UTC. A positive number is, uh, sorry, negative number is west of UTC. A positive number is east of UTC. So once you change that, you'll see all the captions will change as well as the time zones. So that's it for the web page. And those are all, your offsets and your names are all held in uh, non-volatile, or yes. uh, non-volatile memory for the duration until they change again, so power down, power back up. Yep, I'm going to power down, power back up now, and you'll notice 
on the right most, something unique as it powers up and synchronizes with the network. You'll notice the NYC change to the IP address as you mean well. It's further left. The further left one will synchronize. Leftmost, yes, yes, where it says. Over here, this left uh, display, this bit left top clock is your what you want to base your UTC on and all your sub zones from. So UTC will be held in that in that clock there. We'll get it, let it get its IP address. You see the IP address there, so you know where to find your clock. Okay, so uh, now you've, you see it come up and it has all of the different time zones stored in non vault memory. So on the top of each display, each individual zone, you have an offset from UTC as well, and you can offset it by five minutes. You press it once to see what your offset is, and then you can increment it by five minute increment intervals or decrement it by five minute int intervals to set the offset and then when you're done doing that it'll wait 10 seconds to show the final offset and then it'll save that into non-volatile memory as well and that does not require the network at all also if you go over to your configuration settings and you turn off UTC you turn off NTP settings go to manual settings okay you can set UTC 17 or 15 so now we have set it into manual mode so it's no longer being corrected by the NTP server but there is a way to enter UTC without ever requiring the network so once you've set up the clock you can deploy it in the field wherever you need it to go and you no longer need the operating system or any dependency on the network or anything like that. You can set UTC hours here, and then you see it goes to 19, and we'll go back to 17 here in a second. And you can set minutes, and you can set seconds. You can zero the seconds, I'm sorry. So you can zero the seconds. It'll give you caption information uh, as, it, as to what you're doing with the buttons on top. So you, so you can mainly set the UTC, or you could have no internet and just directly connect via computer to the ethernet and set UTC or you can go over the internet and it automatically acquire UTC. So that's it for the buttons. Uh, the idea is that this will work for uh, banks and this will work for network centers as well as military personnel or uh, very primitive operations in our installations where there is no network infrastructure. So these are all 2.3 inch high digits, four digit clocks, and these are 10 digit or actually 13 character 8 by 8 matrix displays, all aluminum extruded enclosure, it's a 8 inch Lexan acrylic, red acrylic lens, thing is bonded together and very a very solid very solid enclosure it has tabs that are hanging tabs that in the back that can be adjusted width wise to hang it on the wall it requires 120 three prong outlet rounded outlet and also if you want ethernet you're going to you're going to need an ethernet cable so again this is Jim Ben with DC Digital and we're demonstrating the uh, DC-25 TZ-4 changeable caption CC thanks for watching